Cal Flyer guys are pretty good about letting me know when there's an issue. Um, also the fish and wildlife, but seeing a helicopter is always a little scary. Um, those guys are specifically looking for wildfires. We have one about 20 miles away, but it's contained, thankfully. But since it's hazy and cloudy, it's hard to tell if there's smoke. I mean, maybe that's why they're spotting from the air. But I dare bet there's been a report and they're following up on it. So that's always scary. Breaking that down, I do not give any shits at all about what's on the roof except the camera. I can lay that down. The couch, it can all blow off. Um, but the turbine, I have to physically disconnect the turbine in three places. It has to get untied in the two places from the rig. That pole that's attached to the roof has to get unhooked. The uh, turnbuckle, sorry, wasn't even looking at what I was showing you. Um, yeah, so three or four places that I have to unhook and disconnect that anchor that is attached to the ground before I can even move the rig. So I'm always on alert when I see the guys flying. Fingers crossed. You know, it is a constant struggle to coexist with nature. And I've always considered myself a misanthrope, but I watched a really beautiful video by an indigenous woman the other day who explained how humans have made the planet better. Um, those of us who take great care for the planet. So that having been said, learning to coexist out here, look at all that water. Now that I have enough water, all of this water is here. And now what I need is power and sunlight and the water is preventing the sunlight. So uh, yeah, I'm glad that I have a wind turbine the second turbine would be an impediment to my emergency exit during this fire season. So one turbine has to suffice. But that's why I'm out here is, but you know what? See, the thing is every terrain is different. Every terrain is going to have its own challenges. So for this terrain, I'm finding out what works and what doesn't and um, what the best preparation can be. If I had it to do differently, I would probably figure out a detached system for the turbines so that I could have two detached turbines and free myself by unplugging a cord to drive away. That would be my solution for motorhome, uh, mobile, nomad type uh, off-grid living situations but ultimately whatever terrain you're going to be in you have to know the terrain before you plan your systems and your solutions and every terrain is going to be different with different challenges hopefully this 90 days will have produced solutions for this particular type of terrain and demonstrated ideas for others who are in other types of terrains. But look at all that water. <laughs> look at all that water. I have enough water. Um, could I have some sunlight, please? That would be rain. Just look how brown the hills are. Usually they're a shade of straw gold, um, but so. Yeah, the trees are happy. Yeah.